Hello everybody, and welcome to another video. I'm going to be talking about this terrible, terrible game that I watched on Thursday between the Seahawks and Cowboys. It was a very fun game, but unfortunately, we lost by six to the Cowboys to a team that, in all honesty, we should have beat. But, yep, we're six and six, we're 500. And now, coming up, there's probably more chance than not that we're going to go below 500. And there's even a chance that we might not even sneak in as a 7th seed. So, yeah, it's been a great week. Let's get right into it. So the game wasn't really that bad on the Seahawks side. The offense played very well, including two touchdowns for DK Metcalf in the first half. Another one later on, he had that 73-yard one to start the game off with a bang. That's when I thought that, okay, this is all that we're going to do and we're going to still lose. Um, Charbonnet got one, his first on the year, which is surprising that it took him 11 games, 12 games to get his first one. Uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba had a touchdown that was called back. That was pretty much a touchdown, but we got one anyways on that drive. Lockett played really well, except for that one route that he got picked off on. Overall, the offense was really humming, and I think that the offensive line did really well up until that final drive of the game, and it was just our defense. Our defense just could not stop them. They put up 17 points on us really early on, and I was like, okay, it's 17-7. It's uh, This isn't going to be that great. We had a missed field goal. It was just not looking good for us, and our offense came back, and our defense was able to stop them in the first half with the pass rush with the defense trying to actually like tackle, which is something that we've struggled with for this entire season, which has really pissed me off. Other than that, the defense was really well in the first half. And then all of a sudden in the second half, it just stopped. The pass rush just sort of stopped. And every time we got him, he Dak, he would end up either breaking the tackle or he would just throw it away really quickly. Tackling became an issue and there was a lot of flags. I'll get on the flags later, but tackling was a big issue too for us every time we'd miss a tackle there was later on we were getting more consistent with it but still this the game was so annoying to watch from a defensive point because realistically you you need some sort of defense the game ended with no punts which is just amazing i'm more of an offensive guy when i'm watching games but no punts is a little bit too much you know like you gotta have at least like one punt in a game Realistically, if it's if it's going to be like that, it's uh, going to be very fun. It's going to be a shootout. So overall, I'm not really mad or like disappointed in the team for how they played. Like realistically, they're the first team in a while. I think I don't know if it was the first team ever or the first team in a long time to score 35 plus points and have zero punts and still lose. But it makes sense that it's the Seahawks to do that. We could have won the game on that final drive. Realistically, we were up by five at one point, and then up by three, and it was like, realistically, we should have been able to win. There's a couple fourth down conversions that we decided to go on, and we didn't get them, which were poor decisions. But overall, I'm not really like too upset at the game. This, this Niners game last week was a lot worse, and that game was just no offense at all. But this game was offense, and we barely lost. So for anybody thinking that like the Cowboys finally beat a team with a winning record, you did. You beat a team that was six and five. So congratulations. But this game was not that convincing at all. This team you were losing for most of the game and the time that you did you were winning in the first and second quarter, we were able to come back and take the lead. You were only leading up until the end of the fourth quarter and you won the game on a play where the guy was unblocked. Literally, Micah Parsons was unblocked. Nobody decided to block the best defensive player on the field at that point, and we lost. So, yes, you won. Congratulations. But realistically, this game isn't going to be the reason that now you're going to become a Super Bowl contender. You'd have to play another team. You'd have to get a fighting chance against the Eagles, actually beat them. If you're able to beat them, then all props to you. It's this season's yours. But right now, this win isn't that convincing, in my opinion. But 
other than that, it's just been, it was actually like a really enjoyable game. It was really stressful, but, you know, a team's got to lose. And, you know, I've been used to this team actually being really consistent and actually making the playoffs and like winning all the time since I started watching football. So it's eventually they got to suck. But yeah, it was tough. Now on to the refs. Um, the flags were mostly justified. Most of them were actual really good calls. But there was a couple in there on Seattle that I just did not agree with. Um, there was the Bobby Wagner PI late in the game, which was right as soon as the ball was coming in. And when it comes to Bobby Wagner, I feel like there's sort of like a mutual respect between him and referees where that he sort of knows what he's doing. And I really doubt that that was a flag simply because the way that the, the ball came, it was to the receiver's right. And the guy just absolutely hit him at the perfect time for the ball to just drop. And when I saw it in real speed and when it was slowed down, I was like, this isn't really a flag. That gave Cowboys a new set downs, ended up getting a touchdown. And then a bunch of the Tariq Willen calls. Yes, the man was, was, you know, getting burnt and his speed was able to catch up. But at that point, he's sort of impeding the receiver's movement when the ball's coming in. But a couple of them were so small where the guy is just barely touching his his shoulder in slow motion, barely touching it, let goes, and then just goes by. And I think his knee scrapes him, and that was it. Like, I get it. At that point, you got to be consistent. But then later on, there was a few f- f- calls that weren't called. In the end of the game, on our second-to-last drive, where we ended up going fourth and down, fourth down, turnover on downs, where we threw it up, and it almost got picked off by Deron Bland, who had an amazing game this game. Just respect to him. He got torched in the first half, but that pick was just spectacular. He's just really good, and there's nothing really you can talk about it. You have to praise him. But on that drive, there was a locket hold on the on the final play that nobody talked about and nobody mentioned. If Geno simply threw it to him and just threw it at Tyler Lockett's head or over his head, it most likely would have been a call with how the refs have been calling, and nobody called it. So overall, the refs like weren't terrible. They just weren't that great. With the amount of calls in the second half, the final plays leading up to the halftime, where it's just penalty, 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 penalty. But overall, I still do praise the refs for this game more than any other game, because at least they were mostly consistent, and they called a lot of things that I think were penalties. So it wasn't an overall bad game. It was just more an annoying game as it went on, because like I get it, there's a lot of penalties, but like, you gotta let them play at some point and just like not call the penalties in general and make it equal that aspect of refing. So I don't know. It still sucks the way that we lost. Obviously, I'm posting this two days later, so you know it it, it uh, impacted me for those 48 hours. But yeah, we're six and six. We play the Niners next week. Pray for me. Um. And then we get the Eagles the week after on Monday Night Football. So, 6-8. and eight, And then you gotta win the next three. 9-8. and eight, Back, just like last season. Uh, yeah. Who knows? Maybe we can upset them. Upset the Niners or the Eagles. Take a win. But, I doubt it. Yeah. This is a, a weird time for Seattle. But, uh, yeah. That's about it. See ya.